Welcome to the Cloud Factory. My name is Sandra and today I'm going to show you how to make a Jot Purisol War. First of all, I want to say thank you to Jyoti Sanjay. Sorry if I don't pronounce it right because she requested me this tutorial. And also I want to say thank you to my subscribers. Uh, I Right now I have 160 subscribers, maybe for all YouTubers in the whole world that is not um, too much but for me it's amazing to think that more than 100 people around the world is looking and waiting for my videos and watching them and liking them etc so thank you very much for subscribing to my channel and keep in touch because uh, my next videos I have two more pendant requests one is about how to make a uh, patella salwar from a sari that will be the the next one and after that i will make um a tutorial for how to make a dotty salwar and i'm so excited about it because i love that kind of salwar so keep in touch and if you have a request for an, any um tutorial about how to make clothes or crafts or arts or fashion or whatever you want obviously about, about art, crafts and, and fashion and all, all those girly things you can ask me and I can make a tutorial for you. Well, now the Jet Parisol War. I have my patterns here. I will explain you how it works. But, and, and I will explain you how, how to make it. But first of all, I want to, I want to show you a picture with the measurements you will need for this a specific kind of solwar. First decide the length of your solwar. This is a full length one, so it reach your ankle. Or you also have this one, this is a shorter one. Personally, I prefer this one because you can wear an anklet. Um, so I will choose this one for the tutorial. Now the measurements. Well, the measurements you will need is this you are seeing in the diagram. The measurement A is the length of your salwar, and you have to take this measurement going from your crotch area to down. And if you choose the full length salwar, you have to take it from your crotch area to your ankle. And if you choose the shorter one, you have to uh, going uh, from your crotch area to down as much as you want, you decide. And the measurement B is the height of your waistband, so you have to go from your crotch area to up, but keep it under your belly button. Don't reach your belly button because this kind of salwar is uh, like this, is uh, going under your belly button. And the measurement C is the length all around your hips, and we will use this measurement to make our um, waistband. So once you have your measurements ready, you have you, you can start to make your patterns. Uh, first I will explain you how it works. These both are the patterns for my legs. This is the crotch area. This is the inner leg part, this is the poncha, and this is the length of my salwar, and this is my waistband. So, once you have the both patterns for your legs, you have to attach it by the um, crotch area. Make the plates, this is the place where we are going to make the plates, and after that, attach it to your waistband. This kind of salwar is very easy to make and looks so beautiful. So let's make our patterns. Keep your measurements um, near you, your list of measurements. And then suppose this is your piece of fabric. And fold it by the middle. In this fold part here, I will make my uh, my leg patterns. If you open the pattern of the leg, you can see 
is based in a semicircle. So to get my both patterns um, at the same time, I will I will mark it here in in the fold of my fabric, and to make it, you have to do the following: the half point of your fabric, and from this point to up, you will mark the length of your salwar is your measurement a in the in the picture i gave you the same measurement you have to mark it from the point to your right and the same from the starting point to your left after that Transfer the same measurement all around the semicircle starting from the middle point like this Just keep moving Your Measurement tape All around with the same transferring the same distance and once you have all the points, just join all around the semicircle. Now cut it. And keep this fabric for the waistband. I will explain you later how to make it. And here I have the two semicircles for my leg patterns, but I will not separate it yet until I finish, so that will give me exactly the same shape for my both patterns. So once you have your semicircle, you have to fold it like this, overlapping the extremes, like this. You have to overlap as much as you, as you want, but... Uh, you can say if I if I fold like this my overlap piece is uh, taking approximately two third parts of my full uh, measurement from here to here approximately this distance so once you overlap your cone like this you have to find the point where the poncha is making the V shape and just in that V shape fold find that point and in that point fold again like this now you have this now fold from here and you will have this if you unfold it you will have this fold it again and if you see this doesn't match with this line so cut it just to make it match following the same shape of your semicircle and that's it now you have it fold it again and now we will put the crotch area just cut making this shape in this part in the part with the fold so if you open it you will have a U shape and that will be your crotch area and now our patterns are ready as you can see it's so easy now that I have the exactly exactly the same shape I will separate
my buttons. And I have my both lip buttons. Now how to fold it. This is going, this uh, small part is going inside, inside the big part and then outside. And this one I will fold it starting from the opposite side. This is going inside. the big part inside and the small part outside so you have your patterns like this so if this is my inner leg part you can see this fold is going here and this is my inner leg part and this fold is going from here once you finished your uh, to sew in the fabric you can decide if you will use this fold in the front part of your salwar or in the back part is as you wish after um, we got this in the fabric we we have to uh, sew by the crotch area join the, join it and after that attach the make the plates and attach the waistband to make the waistband is so easy you only have to make a square in your fabric and the measurements that you will use is the measurement B and the measurement C on the table or in the picture I show you before the measurement B the height of your waistband you have to put it here but you have to add two inches or two inches and a half for the elastic and this length is the measurement C that is the length the full length of your waist and that's it just make that square and you have your your waistband and that's it you have your your patterns ready well let's start in the real fabric I have my fabric folded here and I will mark my middle point here. Now I will open it again. And now I will repeat the process that I made with the paper patterns I show you. Here I am marking uh, all around my semicircle with the length of my salwar, remember, is the measurement A in the picture all over around and then I will draw my semicircle and I will put some pins to keep it together and I will cut it. Remember, you have to cut outside of the line because you have to consider uh, extra space for stitches and corrections. Now I will fold it as I show you, overlapping in this way. Find my V shape on my poncha and I will fold exactly in this point. And I have this. Remember, we don't separate my two pieces yet. Now I will make my crotch area. From here is approximately six inches. I will draw the half of a U shape. And from here is approximately two inches. Two inches and a half. Cut the excess to make the lines match and now cut your crotch area and open it.
is ready. Now separate your bow to pieces. And remove the pins. Now we will make our waistband in the way I show you. This is the length of my hips and cut it. Remember the height is as you wish. And I found this beautiful ribbon and I put it all over the border of my salwar. This is my crotch area and then I will fold it like this. For this piece I will start to fold from my right side. Always matching my crotch area shape and close it here. And Keep it in its place with pins. For the next piece, I will start to fold it in the opposite side, now in my left side. From my left to my right, the opposite that the first one. And Close it here, matching your crotch area also. Now put it together. And first of all, we will sew our crotch area. Your boat pieces must look like this before sew it. I will keep my folds in the front part. So remove the pins and now take the two first pieces of fabric together and put the pin again. And now take the other two pieces and put a pin also. You have to separate two pieces of fabric and leave two pieces of fabric here. Now take these corners, this is your crotch area, take these corners and take it together and also these corners and you have to sew all over this line. like this. Once I sew it, I will start to fold my plates. This is my poncha. I will start uh, to fold my plates from the center to my right. Make your plates approximately every 4 inches, each one. When you reach the outer line of your leg, turn back your salwar and now we will fold the plates in the opposite side. Now fold it to your left until you reach the center point. Then you finish the plates of your first leg. Now repeat the process in the other leg. Now I will start to fold my plates to my left side until I reach the outer line of my leg.
when I reach the outer line of my leg I will turn it back again and I, now I will fold my place to the opposite side this time I will fold it to my uh, right side and finish in your center point and that's it now you only have to attach the waistband first you have to close it sew it from here and also make a stitch here in the border to put the elastic you can see how to put the elastic in my Patiala Sarwar tutorial and after that you have to join it with your leg parts. I already finished to sew my waistband and it looks like this. Now I will attach it to my salwar. Do this, take your leg part and bring it is inside your waistband and sew all over here and that's it you have your jet body salwar ready as you can see it's so easy and it looks like this i put a ribbon because i don't have elastic right now but you you can put elastic or also um ribbon and it looks like this it's going from my hips to down and the plates are starting in my crotch area so I hope you like it and see you in my next video.